kind of funny. Um... Hello, we're back. It's grey today. Um, we're doing a recipe that's already a recipe on the channel, but we're doing a little flip on. So you remember that video? It's probably going to be here. I like to make George's life difficult. The video's here, yeah? Of me and dad sat here cooking lamb together. It's the same lamb marinade from that recipe, but we're turning it into tantuni. Um, tantuni is a braised lamb dish that comes in like a... It's almost like a Turkish taco. You have to just, just follow me through it. Um, it's from Mersin. I'm not doing it the traditional way. Traditionally, they'd boil the meat and then cook it in cotton oil in a special instrument, which I don't have. So today we're gonna grill it, but do all the same garnishes. Um, it's one that is fucking quick. And if you're, if you're doing like a taco night, you can do tantuni night the same way. Um, I personally love it. If, you're gonna, if you wanna eat the real deal, go to Durak Tantuni in West, on West Green Road in Haringey. They're my peoples. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. So, same lamb marinade. The only difference is we've added some more oil. Now, I'll show you what the oil's for later, but for now, we're just gonna skewer up some lamb. So this is lamb neck. I like to use neck because it's fatty and it's tender. It creates smoke and it's a, a better flavor. It's also quite a cheap cut if you get it from the right place. Just gonna skewer these on. And as I'm skewering, I'm pinching, tensing the muscle so that it sits on the skewer and doesn't move as we spin it. If you're too lazy to click back and watch that video or you haven't written it down, or you haven't memorized it, in here is just two different types of chili. Um, so it's the Turkish equivalent of paprika and pulbived, which is like the most common dry chili they use in Turkey. And then I've got a little bit of salt, some MSG, some sugar, and then oil. If you can be bothered to use a comfy garlic oil, it'll make everything taste better. But if you're just using this as it is now, it'll be fine too. When it comes to skewering, one, you need to know how big your your cooking area is. So don't overpack these and like fucking smash loads of meat on. I'd normally go 10 little cubes, which is probably about 10 inches long. I reckon each piece of meat is cut into an inch dice. You've got 10 inches of meat on a stick. Um, yeah, just don't pack it out. Do multiple sticks. Don't use bamboo. Don't use wooden skewers, please, bruv. I don't care how long you soak them, they're always gonna burn, they're gonna be fucking shit. And they're never long enough. They're never as long as the barbecue is. If you wanna do proper mangal stuff, you need to go to your little Turkish corner shop or your Turkish fruit and veg shop or Middle Eastern, Persian, a lot of other people use skewers too and go purchase some proper skewers. Lamba. Looks great. Uh, if any of you have bought my book, which you should have. Uh, this is also in the book. It's called Kebab Shop Shish. <laughs> right, so skewers are done. I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of salt. Be generous, because you're gonna lose it when you cook it. And these two skewers, I reckon, will make us between four and six wraps, depending on what we put in them. Um, take these to the grill, low heat, nothing major, slow, gentle blip, yeah? Kebab. Geliniz, alanas, kebab. Kebab. Lamb's cooking. Um, we're gonna do the garnish. The garnish is really basic. It's lemon cut into wedges, 
the easiest prep job you'll ever do in your fucking life. Uh, this is just the, Tantoni's a weird one. It's, it's served with like pickled chilies and lemons. And the idea is that you eat a pickled chili, you bite a tantoni, you squash in a lemon, it cleanses your palate and you keep going, you repeat. You don't season the inside, you season as you go. So like everyone's palates are, um, uh, no, they're, you can eat it the way you want it. It's like Subway. Um, here, we've got some parsley. Very Turkish, very typical. Um, just gonna give it, that's it. That many chops, two chops. I've got some mint that we're gonna leave on the stalk, otherwise it's gonna blow away. I need to dice up a couple of tomatoes, just like you would an onion. You wanna turn that shish for me, Cam? Please. There's more in there if you want to cook it. How's it going, Cam? Oh, good. good? I've got pasta in the fridge. And then, one white onion. The white onion, you want to slice it as thin as you can, right? Onion can be quite harsh and Turks don't believe in washing the onions to get the, the edge away. So we're just going to take the bum off and then slice it as thin as possible. And that's pretty much a garnish done. Finished. Uh, let's check this lamb. Building some beautiful colour. Getting there, slowly like ticking away. You want it to be, mm, it's under still. It's still got a, it's still really soft. Um, you want it to like tense ever so slightly that when you pinch it, it bounces back. Almost like a, like a drumstick squishy. If any of you ever eaten a drumstick squishy, that kind of like boom, 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 bounce. Or a Haribo, one of the eggs in a Haribo, that kind of texture. So yeah, I reckon this is about two or three minutes off. Garnish is done. All you got to do is like marinate some bread, put them together. Tantuni, boxed, finished, easy dinners. Easy dinners on this channel. Skewers have been cooking like five minutes aside. Um, like we were talking about earlier, they've now got less of a bounciness, but there's still a bounciness. I'm gonna pull these to one side, let them rest. And then I'm just gonna move this grill to the middle quickly, just so that we can like marinate some bread. So although we're not doing this in the most traditional way, I still wanna have the same textures and flavors. So this would be normally done in a really flowery homemade tortilla. We've got bog standard tortillas that we're going to use the excess marinade from the lamb to flavour and make delicious and then wrap them and eat them. Simple as that. Jobs are good in. Let's talk bread. Ready? Right, so it's me and George. I've got two everyday normal tortillas that I bought from a supermarket. A little paintbrush. And we're going to paint on some of our lamb marinade, yeah? Do the same again with this one. And this is just going to give us another layer of flavour to make shit delicious, yeah? So although all of these steps seem familiar, we've seen this, we've seen this typical garnish. This is what sets it aside. This is what's going to make it Tantoni. When you go to the place, the bread is allowed to steam and soak all of like the fucking meat juices in the special pan that they use. And we're trying to mimic that with tortillas and our barbecue, but you cannot miss this stage. Make the marinade, it's there, it's a byproduct, but please spread it on your bread. And if you wanna make like barbecue shop, mango shop meat bread, this is the first place to start, yeah? Make sure everything's seasoned and delicious. Speaking of seasoned, a little crack of salt. We're going to get these on the grill. Not over direct flame, just like 
slowly coming together. Now, we need to work quickly. Lamb's rested, bread's on. I'm gonna chop this lamb. Right, lamb's rested. I've got a big cleaver. And I just wanna chop through this lamb. So when you buy it, traditionally, it's all tiny bits of pieces of, of chopped up lamb, right? And we're trying to make that here as well. We want the same consistency as we eat it. We minced our lamb, so it's like mince texture. Let's go grab the bread. Right, so we don't want any colour on this bread, right? We don't. We want it to be like flimsy, flimsy. We don't want it to be crispy and and straight. Um, so I've just warmed them up just until they get that. Hey, Rachel's here. Hello. But yeah. So warm bread. We've minced our lamb. Lamb down. Little crack of salt. Tomatoes in. Again, a little crack of salt, just so that the tomatoes will come, come out to play. Onions. I like to put a fuck ton of onions in. And then here, with some parsley and some pick mint. Mint's gonna give you the vibrancy. Parsley's just like a common flavor. Then a little bit of pulby bed inside. And then now, the all important, we wanna go bring to the top and then squash it down so that it's tight. And then serve it in a beautiful smiley face shape, traditionally, the way they would. So this, I've even bought a beautiful plate that you'd get, like a little stainless steel number, a couple of lemons, some Turkish pickled chilies. Now these are little fiery bastards, they're pickled cayenne peppers. Um, they'll get you, man, they'll get you proper. We want tension on it, so it stays in our beautiful, happy, smiley faces. And that there, ladies and gentlemen, is Tantuni. So I know this looks familiar, it looks like another kebab shop dish. It is another kebab shop dish, and there's loads of similarities that run through the whole of turkey food whites, but the wet, crispy, lamby bread, the garnishes, the way that we've finely sliced and chopped the lamb makes for a completely different eating experience. It's a dish on its own, that's why it's got its own name, Tantuni, don't forget it, T-A-N-T-U-N-I, Tantuni. Um, but yeah, so they're served in these smiley faces and I'll show you how to eat them. You go for the lift, yeah? And then in here, I wanna go lemon juice, like that and then we're gonna go a big bite. Mm. Delicious. And then after your bite, I like to go pickle chili. And then next bite. This time I got more fire. My next bite needs more, needs more acid. I could do with a tiny crack of salt. And just eat. Have your friends over, do a Tantony Tuesday or a Tantony Thursday. This is a Turkish taco and you'll fucking love them, I promise. Clean, oniony, fire, chili. Lemon to cleanse your palate. It's everything you want. Don't worry. 
Bonjour, homme. Oui, tu sais quoi, tu Non, homme. Et le lien, c'est ça, mais. Oh. Lemon in the face twice in one day. Yeah. What is it? This is nice, huh? Well, no, this is nice. What makes it fantastic? Hmm? What makes it fantastic? Taste. The taste. Good. Have you had Tantoni before, Camel? I had Tantoni before, yeah, but this is the best Tantoni I had so far. Not because he's my son, but he done the best job. We also I did we did them to, to, to try this Tantoni. Yes. We did them at Me Meetopia last year and Everyone loved them, they were delicious. I can finish that in one minute, but eat if you want it. I'm a diabetic, I don't want to eat white bread, you know that. I don't care. If I die, I die. I'm going to leave it more. When you're diabetic, you can't eat anything. And I haven't got no teeth. This is a problem. Thank you. Cheers. It's Tantuni. You should all make it. Um, I believe that you'll have... You'll be like, oh, this is different from kebab stuff. And if you live in North London, please do check out Durak Tantuni. Um, it's all served like this. And also, you know how to eat it. There's that whole, like, bit at the beginning where you're like, how do I eat it? How do I pick it up? Dad cut his, but normally I you hold them. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But you pick them up whole and you eat them. There's like an etiquette behind it. You order them in twos or threes um, and just go round for round. Sit there, drink an iron, little yogurt drink. If not, make, bring it to your house, make this recipe and enjoy it. Thanks for watching. It's me, my dad and the dog signing out. Take it easy, <clears throat> safe, blessings. Adiós amigos. Adiós amigos. Films. Can you say films? Film. Films. Films.